If you're looking for cheap, instant, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out buymuttcoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Ow. <laughs> I just... God dang it. <laughs> I'm trying to record. Jesus Christ. I sat on my effing job. <laughs> Focus. Focus. It's back. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT. So excited to come at you guys with episode one, the introduction to my first Road to Glory series of Madden 17, entitled The Memory of McNair. You guys have been absolutely begging me for a Road to Glory series all throughout Madden 17 and I told you guys to be very very patient. This wasn't a type of series that I could start at the beginning of Ultimate Team. I had to wait a while and like I said guys you had to be patient and finally head-to-head -head seasons are back with the Super Bowl and playoffs and everything like that so now the series actually works like it did in the past so I'm glad I waited this long. I think there's enough cards in Ultimate Team to make this series very very exciting. Hopefully you guys are excited for the Road to Glory series. If you guys are new to the channel, like if you're one of the last 20,000 subscribers, you might not be familiar with the Road to Glory series. That's why I'm going to spend the first like five minutes explaining the rules and everything. And the rules are, they might seem complicated, but they're really not. It might just take you an episode or so to get used to the rules of the series. And as always, I will leave the link to the rules in the description below. So if you're ever confused about something, you can just go to the description and read them. I will also link my previous Road to Glory series in the description below. So if you want to go watch some of that series and really familiarize yourself with how the series works, feel free to go do that and come back to this episode. But guys, I'm so excited. We are doing it around Steve McNair. I had a lot of suggestions for who I should do, but I felt being a Titans fan, and just Steve McNair being in the game, I just felt like it'd be he's the perfect player. The absolute perfect player to start our Road to Glory series around. Guy was an amazing quarterback. Absolute tragedy what happened to him. But try to relive McNair and hopefully make him proud and play very well in this series. So if you guys are excited for the return of the Road to Glory series back to the channel, let me know by dropping a like. And I've never really asked for something like this before, but since a lot of people, I mean, this has been asked since day one. Like, probably every single video I made since the start of Madden 17, hundreds and hundreds of videos, probably every single video had a comment asking for me to bring back the Road to Glory series. I, I know this is a lot, and it might seem like a lot, but this is the series is going to have a lot put into it, a lot of effort, a lot of editing, a lot of time recording. If we can make this video my most liked video ever, you guys don't understand how much that would mean to me and how much that would actually motivate me to make this series as good as possible. So I think my most like ever video is like 3,000 likes. I know you guys can do it. You've done it before. You guys have smashed likes so many times on the channel. But if we can hit 3,000 likes in this video, guys, that would be absolutely amazing. I'm 100% going to keep this series consistent on the channel with my Connected Franchise series. I'm planning on rotating them, one uploaded one day, one the next. So rather you like the Connected Franchise or the Road to Glory or both of them, you're going to have them every other day. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. Now with that said, guys, I need to get into the rules because it's going to take a few minutes to explain because it's kind of complicated, kind of not. First of all, I'd like to say I did not come up with the Road to Glory series type concept. A uh, YouTuber that was one of my favorite YouTubers to watch, he's actually a FIFA YouTuber by the name of Nick28C, he came up with the Road to Glory concept on FIFA, I thought it would be awesome to bring to Madden, and I actually brought it to Madden 15 Ultimate Team and been doing it ever since. And what it is, is we start off with one superstar player in the team, surrounded by a full bronze team. And the goal of this series is throughout upgrades to make the whole entire team full of elite players and the goal of the series is to win the Super Bowl. So the way the series concludes, throughout upgrades, once the team gets to fully elite through the upgrades, which I'll explain how we get in just a second or how the upgrades actually work, once the team is fully elite, we play one last full season and hopefully end off the series in a Super Bowl win. And once that last season is over after the team is fully elite, that's when the series is over. And if you guys want another one, which hopefully you guys will enjoy this enough to want another one, we start our next Road to Glory. So how do we upgrade the team? What upgrades are in the series is upgrades is tiers of cards. So for example, say we get one upgrade from a game, and I'll explain to you how we earn upgrades. One upgrade 
would bring us from a bronze player to a silver player. Two upgrades from a bronze player to a silver player, from a silver player to a gold player. And we don't have to use all our upgrades at one position. We can split our upgrades from each game into multiple positions. So say we got two upgrades from a game, we could use one upgrade at left tackle to go from a bronze to a silver card, and one at the center position to also go from a bronze to a silver card. But where upgrades get kind of confusing is once you get to the elite tier because there's such a big difference in between some of the base elites and some of the elites that are just being released. So the way I do it is say our center is a gold card. One upgrade would bring us from a gold card to an elite card worth under 50,000 coins. Two upgrades would bring us from a gold card to an elite over 50,000 coins. So that's two upgrades. And then after that is some 100,000 coin increments. So if we had a gold card, three upgrades would bring us from a gold card to an elite under under 50,000 coins, over 50,000 coins, and over 100,000 coins. Four upgrades will bring us to an elite over 200,000 coins, and so on and so forth. Hopefully that makes sense, and like I said, everything will be in the description box below. So like I said, upgrades are by tiers of cards, and we don't have to use upgrades at the same position after every game. If we can, we could, if we had five upgrades, we could use one upgrade at each offensive line position if we wanted to. So hopefully that makes sense. Now how do we actually get the upgrades? We get the upgrades from the performance of our team, and specifically the performance of Steve McNair throughout each and every game. So, in each and every game, every touchdown scored by Steve McNair, we get to upgrade. Every touchdown scored by a player that's not Steve McNair, if it basically adjusts if it's a rushing touchdown from a running back, it just counts as one upgrade. If we score a defensive touchdown, that is one upgrade. Every win we get out of the series is an extra upgrade. If our opponent rage quit, that also gives us an extra upgrade. Every 100 yards accumulated by Steve McNair is one upgrade. So say Steve McNair has two touchdowns in a game and 200 total yards, that would be four upgrades for the two touchdowns and two extra upgrades for the 200 total yards, which would bring us six upgrades for that game. If we win that game, it would be seven upgrades. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we can actually get downgrades as well, and that is if Steve McNair turns the football over. So an interception is minus an upgrade. Same thing with a fumble loss. That is minus an upgrade as well. Once we make it into the playoffs, if we win a playoff game, that's two upgrades instead of the one. If we make it to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, which we have never made it to the Super Bowl or won the Super Bowl before, we actually had the full elite team but if that is the case we win the Super Bowl that's three extra upgrades instead of one for the win now we have to upgrade every single position on the team every position aside from Steve McNair starts off with a bronze card except the kicker and punter position because unless I search the market and there's just no bronze punter or kickers I don't think they had bronze punter or kickers in this year's game, so we have to start off with silver punter and kicker. Now, the only difference from my past Road to Glory series is, and this Road to Glory series is, is the players that we upgrade to in the past. Since the chemistry is you can only have one chemistry per offense and defense, we normally only upgraded the players with that particular chemistry throughout the whole entire series, and that kept us from upgrading to the same exact players in every Road to Glory series that we did. But in this year's game, since you have like so many different chemistries, that will be hard to upgrade to only certain players that like had the same chemistry, and that just that would be kind of hard in this year's game. So the way I'm gonna do it is I can just upgrade it to whoever I want to. But I'm going to try my best in the next Road to Glory series that I do to not upgrade to the same players. So that's going to be the way I go about it. It'll give us more players that we can possibly upgrade to. But I, just, I like the chemistry thing because it just kind of limited players and just kept me from, you know, like I said, upgrading to the same players over and over again. But, like, that's, it's just not going to happen with the amount of chemistry you can get in a certain team. Every time I record an intro and explain the rules, I always forget something. So if I do, I'll explain that at the beginning of next episode and I'll have it in the description box below. But I think there's only one last thing I need to cover and that is upgrading a position that has a backup so like tight end once our tight end our starting tight end is an elite player all we need to use is one extra upgrade and we can upgrade the backup position which is a bronze player as of right now to a gold card so it wouldn't take the three extra upgrades to get to a gold card It'd only take one upgrade to get that tight end to a gold card and once a position has an elite starter that position is locked in for the rest of the series so we can't upgrade to an elite player then upgrade to a better elite player later on and with that being the case we have to be careful when we upgrade to an elite players because we got to realize once that's the case we can no longer upgrade that position so we have to use our upgrades wisely when we do get the chance to do so. So I think I explained everything and you guys need to realize at this point in Ultimate Team there are very, very, very good teams out there that we're going to be matched up against. And the struggle is at the beginning of the series we always lose a lot of freaking games, dude. And that's something you guys just have to be aware of and know it's more than likely coming. I, I think in a couple of my Road to Glory series, it's not been the case in some of them luckily, but in some of the Road to Glory series that I have done, we've lost games like 40 to nothing. 
But in games like that, hopefully that won't be the case, but if that does happen, we just have to focus on getting upgrades. That's all the series is about. We'll eventually get a good team where we can actually play very well in games but just realize, even if we lose games by a lot, we need to focus on not turning the ball over and just getting upgrades so we can improve the team. I think that is everything, guys. Hopefully, I didn't forget everything. I know it might seem kind of complicated, but just give it an episode or two or even just go back and watch some of the past episodes because it's pretty much exactly the same setup as this one. And you'll 100% get caught up and understand the series. It's not that complicated. A lot of rules, but it's really not that complicated. And I want you guys in every single episode to suggest players in the comment section below who you'll need to upgrade to. It's not likely you're ultimate team series where I'm just going to use your suggestions but I will look at the comments and if I have a chance to go after some of the players that you guys have suggested I have a lot of thumbs up I will try my best to go after those players so there's not much I want to point out about our offensive lineup it's just pretty freaking bad it's just bad all across the board and hopefully we can do okay but the one player I do want to point out is our tight end and the reason he's a starting tight end his name is Wes Saxton he's the only player in Madden 17 ultimate team to have a card that graduated from my university, which is South Alabama. There's one other player right now on an NFL roster, and I think he's, he's on the uh, Jets too, and he's a tight end too. That's really weird with the name of Braden Bowman. He's in career mode and stuff like that, but he doesn't have an ultimate team card. So Wes Saxon is the only South Alabama Jaguar with an ultimate team card, so he had to be the starting tight end. There's no Cameron Clear card in Ultimate Team, or if there is, I can never find him on the market. I don't think there is. I think a lot of you tweeted at me at the beginning of Ultimate Team and told me he wasn't there. So, unfortunately, no Cameron Clear for the Ultimate Team Road to Glory series, but we do have Wes Saxon. Hopefully, he can be the next Cameron Clear. Now, moving on to defense, it's just, it's just bad. These are all players that were already in my item binder. I try to go with the fastest possible players at each position because it's just going to be bad otherwise. And the specialist, nothing too crazy. Although, this guy is not bad for a bronze player as our kick and punt return so hopefully he is a hidden gem in the team so with that said guys that was probably a very long intro and i know you guys really hate long intros but this is going to be the only time that's going to be the case in the series i had to explain that or you guys will be completely lost because there's been like 20,000 subscribers since i've uploaded the last road to glory episode which was at the end of madden 16 so with that said guys hopefully you're excited for the series as i am we are going to jump into a game for this episode and get our first upgrades of the series. Hopefully we get upgrades we don't get beat too bad. But let's see how things go. Hopefully we don't get matched up against a super freaking stacked team. But that's just what I have to expect at this point in Ultimate Team. But with that being the case, guys, let's jump into our first game of our first Road to Glory series in Madden 17. And hopefully it's lit. So here we go, boys. We're getting the ball first. I didn't see his best three players, which is probably a good thing. We're wearing the Color Rush uniforms, which is pretty freaking awesome. We didn't fumble the opening kickoff, so that's a good start. Come on. B's going to be open. Good throw. That's Davis. We completed a pass. West Saxton. West Saxton. West Saxton. The next camera clear. Got the first down. Let's go. South Alabama repping right there. Play action pass. Give me some time, offensive line. Or just don't. Please pick the... Minus one upgrades. Well, this guy has Andrew Luck, David Johnson, Moore, Fitzgerald. He has some legends and some, some running backs that he's going to run all over me with. Not going to get discouraged, though. I just have to go into these games not expecting to win, just expecting to get some upgrades. It's going to be a pass. Can we get a turnover? That's going to be a... Catch the ball! We get the pick! Let's go! We get the turnover! That's a user pick! So hopefully we can get something here, Wes Saxton. Please catch it. Wes! Wes is the next Cameron Clear! Get to the line. Wes Saxton's going to be wide open. I know it's a cheese route, but he's going to be wide open, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, 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 Wes! Wes Saxton, let's go! Wes Saxton, the South Alabama alumni getting into the end zone for the first touchdown of memory of McNair as we take a, hopefully, if I don't miss the extra point, a 7 to nothing lead. And with that, guys, those are the first upgrades of the series with the touchdown pass. It is two upgrades. For this first game, actually, it brings us to one since we are already at negative one. But hopefully that is good. And it is, boys. And we go on top. Seven to nothing. Another play action pass. Come on, boys. Got this guy over the middle. Got him over the middle. Come on. Pick this off. Mills. God dang it. That's Herman Moore. He's a legend. He's going to kill my bronze defense. He went hurry up. It's going to be some underneath routes. He had a guy wide open. Come on. Make an open field tackle right here. There we go. Roll. Nice tackle. It's going to be a third down and long. Third down and 12. No big plays, boys. No big plays. We get the sack, boys. Let's go. I don't know who that is, freaking Clark. Clark's a goddamn beast. Fourth down and 20. Please lag or something. The kick is absolutely perfect, and he 
made it. I'm running a play action pass, and I'm actually relatively scared because our offensive line is very, very bad. Last time I ran a play action, and the only play action I've ran, we got sacked and fumbled. So hopefully I can just get the ball out very quick and no turnovers right here. Oh, I'm just, I threw it up. That's a pick. Oh, that should have been a pick. That was an awful throw. I panicked. I probably should have just took the sack, but thank God we catch a lucky break. This could be an astronomical mistake, but I'm going to try to bring pressure. See how he does in the face of pressure. He throws it deep and he's wide open. He is wide open. That's a touchdown. See, dude, I told you when he figures out my corners are awful, he's going to just destroy me. One on one, Herman Moore. Oh God, we're going to scramble right here. B, come on, make this throw, Steve McNair. That's going to be a first down, Davis, with the catch. If we can just get a field goal out of this drive. Y is wide open off this lane. That's Robinson. Oh, we're going to, what are we going to do? 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 We're going to scramble. We're going to, don't just hurry. Just get out of bounds. We well, only have 10 seconds left, guys. I have to be very smart with the football right here. No mistakes, guys. No mistakes. That's the number one thing. RB, make this catch. And he does. We have six seconds remaining, guys. Let's be very smart. Very smart. Oh, man, just throw the football away. With one second remaining, holy crap, we just got very freaking lucky. Come on, boys, somebody make a big play. Somebody make a big play right here. Somebody get pressure eventually. He has a lot of guys open. That's going to be incomplete. Fourth down and seven. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I had a feeling. I had some kind of feeling. Third down and fourth. Huge play. He does not have the running back. I have him covered. He has the outright open. That's a touchdown. He takes a 17 to 10 lead. God dang it. All because of a fake effing punt. Looking at his defense, I still have a decent feeling. Some kind of feeling. B. I messed up. No, 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 no. Pick it. You've just got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. So you're telling me two fumbles is going to be the reason we lose this game? Come on, boys. Get to Andrew Luck. Get to Andrew. Pick the put. Third down and three. This is, I'm off sides. I'm off effing sides. It doesn't matter because it's going to be a touchdown in that game. Oh, man. I believe in the power of the West Saxton getting another touchdown, boys. And we're right back in this game. He was wide open down that scene. That's two more upgrades for the touchdown pass to West Saxton. We're going to kick this extra point, guys. And we still have all three timeouts. Oh, come on. Take us off, Mills. Let's go, boys. Mills. Mills. We're back in this. We are back in this, boys, with two minutes and 19 seconds remaining. Our freaking bronze safety, Jalen Mills, with the interception, boys. The comeback is real. Blitz. He didn't blitz. We have some space. Hunt. Go. Go. Go, Hunt. Hunt. I love you. Y is wide open. Make this catch, Robinson. And he does. It's another first down. A is wide open. That's Marquez. Come on, Marquez. Marquez, let's go. He he just got d just destroyed. The effing got destroyed. Oh, man. One more. Steve. Steve, let's go, Steve. Get it. Don't fumble, don't you? I, th I, I just knew in my mind he was going to fumble. I just knew for an absolute fact. Steve, please. Steve, please. Steve McNair into the end zone, boys. And we're an extra point. We are an extra point away from the comeback being real and tying this game up. I've missed plenty of extra points, so I don't want to stress this. And I don't want to miss it, dude. Please, dear God. That is absolutely perfect. It's going to be good, boys. So with 50 seconds remaining, the game is tied 24-24. If we can get one more turnover. So this guy is wasting a ton of clock. Only 14 seconds remaining. Oh, come on, boys. He has a guy wide open. No, 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 no. He's close to field goal range, dude. Holy crap. He's literally like 10 yards from field goal range. There's no big plays. That's all I ask. No big plays to make this somewhat of a chance. He throws over the middle. Come on. Oh, man, he's on the outskirts of field goal range. He might get it. Two seconds remaining. This is a 50-something yard field goal. Oh, my God, guys. It comes down to this. Like a 50-something yard field goal. I don't know what the wind's doing. Oh, man, please don't. Not like this. Not like this, dude. This has got to be absolutely perfect. He barely got like a 49-yarder previously. This is a little bit farther. Please, dude. I'm a, can, I, can I call timeout? What's going on here? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 I hate Madden. I hate Madden. I hate it. Did you guys see that? Oh, my God, dude. The stupidest stuff happens to me. It picked me up saying watch the run. I did not say. Oh, my God. Are you actually kidding, dude? Oh, this is so... Oh my god, that is so just stupid. That's so absolutely stupid. What a stupid way to start the series, guys. 
I swear to God, some of this dumbest stuff happens to me. Oh, because the Kinect hears me say watch the run when I said nothing even similar to it. It it makes me guess run and lets his guys wide open down the field and he wins the game in the last play of the game. Oh, so you're telling me because I called a timeout that, that all that happened. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Where did I... Can anybody... Uh, can I go back? Can, I, can somebody go back and, and tell me where it sounded like I said watch the run? I am immediately... Immediately after this game, going to turn off Connect. The fact that I could have beat this guy with the team that he had, and I don't have a chance to even go into overtime because stupid. Because stupid. Jesus, dude. Like when stuff like that happens, it just just freaking turns me off, dude. Like, and now I have to just settle down and count the upgrades when I'm mad. <laughs> when I'm mad. Steve McNair was 18 and 25 for 293 yards, two touchdowns and no interceptions. The two touchdowns is four total upgrades. He had a rushing touchdown, which brings him to six upgrades, but the two fumbles lost brings him back down to four. He did have 293 yards passing, and he had 19 yards rushing, which brings him over 300 total yards for this first game, which adds on three upgrades. So four upgrades for the two touchdowns. One rushing touchdown, like I said, brings him back up to six. The two lost fumbles back down to four. Then three extra upgrades for the 300 total yards. Even with the loss, that just sucks, dude. It gives us seven total upgrades to start off the series, which is better than I could have ever expected. Just with the way the game ended and him, like the two fumbles, like leading the touchdowns, him having that fake punt leading to a touchdown, I really feel like I could have won that game. So although that was an awful ending to the first game of the series, we do have seven upgrades and I have to use them very freaking wisely because I want to make this team as good as possible, as quickly as possible, and I got to use the upgrades in the right positions and with the right players. So with the first two of our seven upgrades, I'm going to upgrade the wide receiver position. I'm going to use two upgrades, like I said, from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold, and that's going to bring us to the gold wide receiver that is one of the newest team of the weeks. And I could have gone with this Deshaun Jackson, which looks pretty freaking sick. But I'm actually going to go with this new Team of the Week, Kenny Steals. If you compare the two, he's a little bit better spec catch. His catching traffic's a lot better. His jumping's a little bit less. I mean, they're basically the same cards. I just want to try out this Kenny Steals. He's a little bit taller. And since he is a new card, I do want to try him out. So we might upgrade that Deshaun Jackson a little bit later. But that's our first upgrade of the series. Secondly, we're going to use two upgrades once again at the running back position to go from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold. And the reason I'm doing this is because with bronze running backs, I'm very scared to run the football because it's hard enough to win as it is. And it tends early on in series when I run the football a lot with bronze running backs. One, I don't get much at all, if anything. And two, they fumble a lot. And I can't be fumbling the ball. As you saw, the reason we lost that game, I would say, is because of those two fumbles led to two score. Well, actually, the first one didn't lead to a score and drive, but the second one did. But anyways, we're going to use two upgrades to a gold running back, which I believe is one of the best running backs in the game as of right now, even though he's a gold. And that is Derrick Henry's 84 overall card. I know I used this card when it first came out, and it was unstoppable. And I still expect it to be pretty freaking good, although the card is... I don't know, I just noticed it's pretty pixelated. So it's a Spencer Wear card. Huh. Why did I, am I just now noticing this? But it's still an absolute tank of the card. I expect it to be absolutely amazing. We still have three upgrades remaining, and I'm not using them at tight end because Wes Saxon, dude, what a game. I wish I would have saw his stats. He had he had to have at least like close to 200 yards in that game with two touchdowns. Amazing. So what a debut. But anyways, we're moving on to the defensive side of things for the last three upgrades of the episode. We're going to use two at the first middle linebacker position to go once again from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold. Upgrade from Goode, who I think did have an interception, but I think we need a better user at the middle linebacker position. And that's going to be the team of the week edition, Quan Alexander. Very fast, good hit power, good tackling, good pursuit, good awareness. So I think it's a pretty freaking good card. And it's an upgrade all across the board from Najee Goode, who, like I said, didn't play bad in that last game. But I think this is going to be a huge upgrade. So with that said, we have one last upgrade to finish off this first episode of Memory of McNair. And that's going to bring us to the cornerback number one position. And that's going to bring us from a bronze to a silver to a silver cornerback. That is going to be way down here. But it is most feared Jalen Ramsey. He's a little bit slower. Actually, wow. Even though it's a pretty, it's an eight overall difference. He has less catching, less zone. Uh, less speed and less agility. He's a little bit taller, better excel with the same exact excel, better man, better play rec, 
and that wow like do i even actually want to upgrade to him i guess i am look at this dude this 70 overall corner the only thing better on his card than brandon mcgee is his 69 play rack what is look at this is this brandon mcgee like the best bronze card in history my god so but you still are upgrading the Jalen ramsey i'm expecting the 71 overall to be much better than the 63 but still that's kind of weird how he's an eight overall difference but it, like looks like the bronze guy was better than Jalen ramsey so with that said guys that is going to conclude this first episode of memory of mcnair hopefully you did enjoy and if you did make sure to smash the like button i'm trying to make the series as good as possible because you guys 100 percent deserve it especially for waiting this long for my first Road to Glory series of Madden 17. If you did enjoy, like I said, once again, smash the like button. Leave suggestions for players you want to upgrade to in the next episode in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to try to pick out some of the ones that you do suggest in the comments. With that said, guys, that's going to do it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.